That's it. Poor stewards. Poor stewards. Stewardship. I want to give a shout out to my girl, I Rock. This is part three. And let me say this off top, black folks. Go ahead and hit the dislike button. Go ahead and get mad all the way at me on this because I got to tell what's real. Out of love. And most people walking around claiming that they poor. And they really not. They just make bad, stupid decisions, really. Priorities are all messed up. And I'm coming with this part three because we was talking about staying healthy and how we don't want to spend money on what we really need to be right, to live right, to eat right. And I rock made such a good comment, as always, comments, should I say. And it made me think about coming back doing this video because we do, we spend money on everything else. But when it comes to health, we fail in that. How some women, hmm, sisters, y'all can get mad at me. I just gotta tell the truth. They care more about they her spending so much money on they her. And they kids walking around looking like a hot mess. They'll spend they money, I'm talking about good money. And here it is, fellas, go ahead and get mad. Thugs, gangsters, pimps, whoever. We claim that we don't have enough money. Won't even go to the dentist and get our regular teeth fixed. But we'll spend thousands and thousands on grills. Platinum to put in our mouth. See how backwards we are. How we, we won't take $10. Your little son needs some pampers to wear but you'd rather spend your last 10 on a sack of weed. We got too many habits. Scratch offs, smoking, drinking, getting drunk. All the money that go in and out the club, the strip club. But we claim we broke. Really, or we all let broke. How is it that you can buy these 24 inch rims, put them on a car that's raggedy as hell? You more concerned about looking good on the outside and the car won't even make it to the end of the street without shutting off. No air in the car. Car need tune up, front end lineman, all that type of stuff. But we poor. Really. Let's look at this for a minute. You can go in the store and buy a hundred dollar pair of pants. I'm not Lord, no, I ain't even gonna talk about the shoes. You see this jacket right here? Ten dollars. Walmart. What's the name on it? Don't give a damn. Ain't no name on it. Cause I don't care nothing about name. I found out they all do the same thing. Cover me up. And I'm not being funny in this video. We need to quit all this that oh we don't have enough money to do this and do that and boy let me tell you something, Jack in the Box, McDonald's, Popeyes, the little corner stores with all the drink and the little fat foods in there have became rich off of us. Go ahead and throw your hat up and say, yeah, JT, if you from Dallas and you looking at this video, and if you know anything about big teepers are, how much money that I made? See, it's some bald horses riding around here. But like you was talking about, I rock the high curve. Don't come down here to Dallas. Women will go broke behind their hair. Not all though, but the, the majority of them, they got to make sure they look good to get ready to go to the club, to get ready to go pool. But your kids is at home starving. See, I'm talking about men and women in this video. Something ain't right. So really, everybody ain't all that broke like they claim to be. See, it's a difference when somebody has really fell down, got laid off you know, having hard times. But then it's another difference when you just got a sorry, no good joker. It ain't gonna do nothing. And you call that struggling? Now that ain't struggling, that's foolishness. Because if you got two arms, two legs, two eyes, two ears, mouthpiece, all the activities of your legs, what's wrong with you? 
We make up all these excuses, I rock, just like you said. And that's exactly what they are. They are excuses. Most of us are so backwards. Now, let me tie this in with the church. The churches that I know, Lord knows there's a lot of them. They take up so much money, sister. Bad stewards taking up all this money, nothing to show for it. Everybody know about a building fund. It's been going on for the last 20, 25 years. And like Steve Harvey said, they ain't put a doorknob on the church. Won't even get the porch fixed. You walk around in the church, you see the roof still leaking, pots all over the floor. Shouldn't be no such thing as no raggedy house of God. Bad stewards. Some of these deacons don't know what they're doing. That's why it's a big difference when you have a, a pastor that is business minded and he knows about stewardship and how charity starts at home. But see, nowadays we done, we got it backwards. We got all these people trying to get a building and don't know how to take care of it. When you take care of God's people, God will take care of everything else. But we too busy trying to get everything else first. That's why he said, seek the kingdom first. All his righteousness and all those other things. What's all those other things? All the other things. But well, most people want that to be money. We living in a life in, in, in the world now, this time of frame where no, I ain't gonna say nobody, but the majority of black folks, they'll never move forward like they want. Now, thank God we got a whole lot of matters successful. We can cut on the TV, the sports, and see that. But the majority, the hood, ain't gonna never move forward. And people get mad when you move out of the hood, but the hood don't want to get no further than where the hood is. Because the hood won't get rid of the drugs, the dope, the violence. The hood got too much going on. Too many dope houses, too many trap houses set up. And what's sad, most of the neighborhood are dope fiends. They smoked out. So really, we ain't all that struggling, poor, making all these poor decisions. Poor steward. The Bible teaches us about stewardship. Look at the man with the talent. Look at the one that didn't do nothing with his talent. Yeah. Some of us are so gifted, and we sitting on it. We won't even do nothing. And that back to that word, laziness is killing so much. Laziness. Lazy preachers, lazy Sunday school teachers, lazy people, period, lazy people. It's, it's, it's destroying everything. So really, are you poor? Or are you really just making poor, stupid decisions? Well, girl, I gotta look good, I'm going out tonight. You ain't even got enough money to go out tonight. Gotta get your hair done every other day. You know, some of these women trip me out down around rock and I have to laugh at it because they spend all that money and then they take their hair down and about three or four days later and then be crying because I can't get back to the beauty shop. Ooh, I thank God I'm a man. I ain't got to deal with all that. But we do, we do stupid stuff. We do the ridiculous. And we always want to talk about a recession and then we, we end it. Let me tell you something, man. I'm a firm believer and I live it because God has been taking care of me for a long time since I was born and God is still taking care of me. The same God that brought me out then when I was struggling, same God that's here right now bringing me through. I'm not hurting for nothing. I keep my trust in him. Only thing I'm lacking is my wife that I don't have yet. Other than that, I got the master. So ain't no reason for me to wake up crying and complaining about, oh, this and oh, that. No, I thank God for life and this joy. If we would ever stop being ignorant, we'll see how ignorant we are. If we would stop being so ignorant and just look at, I mean, look at how ignorant we are we will see that we really ain't all off that bad like we think we are. But our problem is we can't even get along with each other. Somebody gonna think I'm down in black folks in this video, but I'm not. This is tough love. And if I didn't love you, I wouldn't tell you this stuff. 
you got so many women going home with a different, bringing all these men in the house in front of their children. Next thing you know, you got another baby daddy. We got all these baby daddies out here having babies everywhere. Ain't taking care of the one they got, but steady making more. We got child support steady going up, higher and higher. You got divorces going on. It's gonna get worse because we don't wanna start with the change. We ain't all that poor, sister, I rock. I wonder what would everybody do if the doctors came to your house right now and said that if you keep eating the way you eat, that you're gonna die in three days. How many people would actually straighten up the way they eat? See, I'll tell you the other video, yes, I get up every day. It's a mind thing. I work out, I walk. If I'm not walking, I'm riding a bike or jogging and, and, and pumping a little weight, trying to keep myself in good shape. It's hard just to, just to stay in good shape. And I ain't talking about you gotta be all six pack down and all that, like you see a lot of people on TV. I'm just talking about little basic stuff to eat right. You ain't always gotta keep doing the same thing. Because let me tell you something, like I said in another video, obesity is taking a lot out. High cholesterol, high blood pressure, high, high, high this, high everything. We can do more at home and just spend a little more money on Oh, buy you something healthy, like Sister I Rock was saying. We're going to blow that money on something else. Trying to keep up with the Joneses, a lot of y'all. I don't even know what the Joneses is doing to keep what they got. So I don't want to keep up with them. I want to keep up with JT. If this is what I'm making right here, and I need to be living right here, why am I going to try to live up here when I'm only making down here? Peace. Stay blessed.